So, when the glory leads, we try to replace it with tangible things. But I've come to understand that when God rejects you, even the things he created, they reject you. When you, when you disobey God, even creation disobeys you. Hello? You cannot twist the arm of God. So the arm of God had no problem. It was still the powerful ark. But people didn't have God in their hearts. So 13,000 men were killed together with their priests, which, which didn't have God in their hearts. So what happens when the ark is captured? Number one, people die. When the ark is captured, people die. The Bible says, Hophni and Phineas, together with the 30,000 soldiers, died. The ark was taken. The glory of God was taken. But also there is something that happens. Eli dies. Hey. Eli dies. The Bible says, everybody died. And the Bible says this, man from the tribe of Benjamin, he ran back to Shiloh. And when he arrived in Shiloh, the Bible says, he, he announces that the ark has been captured. And the Bible says, there was a great cry in the city of Shiloh. Everybody wailed and cried because we cannot live without your glory. Eli understood that the church would be useless without your glory. So he broke his neck. And then he died. And the Bible says, then the news also got to this woman. The wife of Hophni was pregnant at that time. And the Bible says they came to her. And when she heard the cry, she, she asked what is going on. She was pushing a big stomach. And they said to her, Oh, yo, 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 the Israel, Israel has lost the war. And soldiers died. He said, Oh, that's bad news. Came and said, But your father in law, when he heard the news, died. He said, Oh, that is bad news. They said, Your husband. And your brother-in-law, they have also died. She cried and said, ah, how shall I live without a husband? But when she heard that the ark has been captured, the Bible says the woman began to go into labor. Hey, when the ark is taken, even pregnant women, they are shaken. They go into labor same time. There are things you don't lose in this life. You can't afford to lose the glory of God. You can lose your job, but not the glory of God. You can lose your money, but not the glory of God. You can lose your possessions, but fight for the glory. Fight for the glory Because when the glory is gone People shall die When the glory is gone Women go into labor What you need to fight for Is not the job What you need to fight for Is not for you to be rich You better fight To sustain the glory in your life Because inside the glory There is everything you need The glory carries wealth The glory carries respect the glory carries your marriage The glory carries your career The glory carries everything you want When the glory departs Even women go into labor Oh my God, I'm here to tell you You better pray for your glory to come back Oh my Jesus The Bible says The woman She went into labor She was in her late months, but it was not yet time to give birth. She was not planning to give birth on that day. Even if she was due, maybe she still had several weeks. But she gave birth at that same time. When she heard, see sometimes she didn't mind. She knew she could survive without having a husband. Hello? She knew she could survive being a widow. 
She knew her son could survive not having a father, an uncle or a grandfather. She knew she could survive alone. But when she heard that the glory has departed, the Bible says the woman went into labor and she gave birth. And after giving birth, she also died. The Bible says she went into labor and she gave birth. She gave birth to a son. But she was so weak. She couldn't take a family without the glory. She didn't mind even losing her son as long as she had the glory. But the Bible says she pushed and she gave birth to her son. The Bible says the maid servants, they saw that she was discouraged. They come and they say, please take courage. You have given birth to a son. And the Bible says she didn't pay to them no attention. She didn't give them. She didn't consider them. The Bible says she didn't care whether it's a girl or a boy. What was in her mind was that we have lost the glory. What was in her mind is that we have lost the glory. And the Bible says at that time she named her son and she said his name shall be Ichabod. The Bible says after she named her son she died because she understood life is useless without the glory. The word Ichabod means the glory is departed. Or where is the glory? Hello. She named the child Ichabod. 